Hi, Courtney, and for inviting him on that night out here tonight. I want to thank my friends from work and friends from life and uh, relatives, <laughs> my cousin, and my other friends over here. So, and thanks to all the poets that went before us. I'm just going to share a couple pieces, and then my and I are actually going to do a couple of old pieces together. Um, Okay. How's everybody feeling? Good. All right. All right. Look alive a little bit. <laughs> All right. This piece is called "Letter to My Sister," and um, I think I ran into an old friend, Gregory. Actually, I haven't seen him in about six years, and he said, oh, "Are you still? What types of things are you writing? And uh, are you still writing about um, some of the same things?" So in a way, I am, but. In the way I'm not, I guess as poets we, we evolve and we take on different phases. But what informs my writing? I'm from Liberia. I write a lot about being an immigrant. I also write a lot about being a woman, and I write a lot also about um, mental illness and things like that. So this is called Letter to My Sister. I have turned our childhood into a few dozen verses. There are places for dramatic pause and where memory failed, I've embellished a bit. You've grown impatient with me in my so-called poetic license. I don't remember that has become your wary mantra. I'm trying to excavate the good times too. Can't you remember, can't you see where I colored some words and inserted those tender moments? A famous writer once said that eventually I will tire of myself and I will be compelled to tell the I less stories. But I anxiously await that moment. For now I want to tell them about our war with mama's illness and how at school we remained for being foreign. Remember D how they chased us up Tioga Street and accused us of having voodoo and they scanned our dark bodies for tribal scars and we hid the cayenne pepper in foil to throw in their faces, to sting them, to make them fear us, to be left alone, to be African? D, I have managed to poem all of my pain. Tell me, what do you do with yours?